How do you take the derivative of a composite function? I'm not going to lie, it's really easy. Okay? The way that you deal with a composite function is by knowing that f of g, uh, f of g of x is defined as f of x whenever you plug g in for the x value in f. Now that looks complicated, but my point is that when you take the derivative of that, you simply end up with the derivative of f, and g of x is still on the inside, times the derivative of what's on the inside. This is chain rule. You have a function on the outside and a function on the inside. When you take the derivative of the whole thing, you take the derivative of the outermost function, that was f, keep the inside function the exact same, and then multiply it by the derivative of the inside. If you really don't trust me, just remember that if I asked you to take the derivative of this, what would you do? Well, you'd probably go 4x squared plus 7x minus 6 all to the power of a half. And then when you take the derivative of that, you bring the half down, keep what's inside the brackets the same, notch the exponent down by 1, and in addition, multiply by the derivative of what's on the inside, because it wasn't simply x. That's the exact same thing we're doing here. Derivative of what's on the outside, keep the inside the same, and then chain rule times it by the derivative of what was on the inside. Now, here's what's awesome, is you can simply take the derivative of f separately from g. Here's f. If I take the derivative of this, I bring the 17 down, I get 2x plus 1, I notch that exponent down by 1, and chain rule, I have to multiply by the derivative of what was on the inside. I'm going to take the derivative of g separately as well. Now g is just a polynomial. If you can't take the derivative of that, you probably can't do anything in terms of derivatives. Uh, bring that 2 down, notch the exponent down by 1. And, uh, and uh, minus 2x becomes minus 2. So I'm going to plug each of those into this. f prime is 34 times 2x plus 1 all to the 16. I took the 2 and the 17, put them together here. I left this because I'm not plugging in x. I'm plugging in g. And g was 3x squared minus 2x plus 7. I didn't memorize that. I stole it because it was given to me in the question. Times the derivative of g, which in this case is 6x minus 2. And I'm done. This is it. I didn't have to. I didn't have to substitute this in here, multiply it out, and then do a complicated chain rule on that. Instead, I just took the derivative of f, I took the derivative of g, and plugged them into this formula. In fact, you know what? You don't even have to bother <clears throat> knowing that this is chain rule. Just memorize this damn formula if you're that lazy. Take the derivative of the two that you're given, and plug them straight in here. That's easier than, uh, well, you don't understand anything by doing that, but I, I don't really care. Uh, I'm just here to help. Anyways, it's chain rule. Accept it. Enjoy life and best of luck.